This is day number 38 of our 40 days of power. It begins the last three days of prayer and fasting. If you haven't joined us in the prayer and fasting, you have three days today, Sunday, and Monday. And let's all join together. Exodus chapter 12, verses 35 and 36. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they had asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold, and clothing. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. For hundreds of years, Egypt oppressed Israel. The Israelites worked as slaves in the land of Egypt, and as slaves they labored and they toiled without a just reward. So Israel's forced labor built Egypt's infrastructure, yet they lived in squalor and in abject poverty. So they've worked for so many years, contributed to uh, the building of a nation, but they didn't get any reward. They were actually worse off every year. And so God decides all these hundreds of years of unpaid salary has to be paid for. And overnight, overnight, the Lord reversed these centuries-old oppression against Israel and the poverty of the land. And overnight, a people who had nothing had everything. I believe God is able to do the same thing for you, that overnight, those who have oppressed and taken from you will bring back to you that which God has ordained for you. So there are three things that I want you to note happens in this passage. The first is that the Lord gave his people favor. What does that mean? It means God opened the eyes of Egypt to who Israel really is. You know, for a long time, they thought Israelites were nothing. They have no God. They have no support. They have no leader. And so they can be mistreated anyhow. But God starts the plagues upon Egypt, and all of a sudden, they realize there is somebody behind the Israelites. They have a God behind them, and they have a leader called Moses. And so the people started paying attention to what Israel says. When God gives you favor, one of the things he does is open the eyes of people to your true value, to your true worth, to who you really are. Those who don't see you for what you are will see you for who you are. So God's favor changes the way people see us. They see us in a more positive light. That's the first thing he did for the Israelites. The second thing is that uh, he, God told the people to ask for gold and silver and clothing. So God's favor leads us to be bold to demand for what is rightfully ours. The gold was for them, the silver was for them, because they've toiled for it for years. Their ancestors, their fathers had toiled for it. And so when God's favor comes upon us, God also makes us bold to make the right demands. And if you are afraid to take what is yours, may God give you the boldness to make the right demand. And God's favor adds weight to what we say. Third thing that happens, the people plundered their oppressors. That's how uh, it happened. They plundered their oppressors. That means that they took everything that belonged to them and they took it by force. As a matter of fact, the Egyptians pushed it on them and overnight there was a wealth transfer. God's favor settles all outstanding debts. So today we claim these promises of God in our lives, that God will let people see us differently, that God will settle all outstanding debts, and God will add weight to what we say in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you have favored me. Today I make demands for blessings that are rightfully mine in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.